I've been 3D printing a game. And this time what I've been doing is improving on the gunnel clip design that I've been using for quite a lot of things. And here's the original one. And um, what these are designed to do is clip over the gunnel. And then these little clips here just grip hold of the gunnel. And then, you know, this one just is for a rope, for fenders or something like that. But I've been struggling with the design a little bit. Um, they haven't, they're not brilliant at holding onto the gunnels, especially for, say, when you're pulling things upwards, like a, a tent clip. Um, and they do have a certain, a few other flaws, like they move along the gunnels as well. So this is Gunnel Mark II. And this uses a completely different sort of way of looking at it. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you can see it pivots on this little piece here. And then we tighten this up around the gunnel. And then this has now got a little attach point right at the bottom of the gunnel. And I'm hoping this will actually mean that we can fix this around the gunnel really quickly. Tighten it up with the screw that will go through here. And it will... Yeah, it will be a bit more usable. So let's go and print this out now and see what comes up. Use a bolt here to pivot those. And then this is the lock nut. So we can undo that right to the end there. And then that should be big enough to get over the gunnel. And then we clamp it down and tighten it up. And as we do that, that should keep that quite tight to the gunnel. So we'll give that a go. Um, what I do like about this one is that, you know, because that's so tight now, we can probably attach things here or even make it longer so we can put a sort of tent attachment or temporary tent attachment on them. Um, and also I like them because, you know, if we put a butterfly uh, clip here or butterfly knots here, we can actually take them off and move them, adjust them, put them in different places. Um, we could also make them a little bit higher here. So you could have like an attachment up here, you know, for fenders and things like that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing if this works. If it does, then yeah, we'll we'll explore what we can, we can make with these things. Yeah, I really like that. For Ukraine by... Uh, um making sure i fly the flag especially on the lake where it doesn't really matter so we're going to put the little holes about well we're gonna to have to put them on the well we'll put them try and put them in here i'm hoping they'll work especially if you go over that stitching there should be all right oh i need a hammer ah where's my hammer my hammer's in my tool so i'm just going to use the other end of this yeah, that'll do. And then I'm going to use my little brass eyelets. Yes, yes. They're a little bit more expensive, but the other ones are too big. So uh, my cheap ones are way too big. So we're just going to do it with these. There we go. Spot on. That's ready to fly. The sky and the, the blue is for the sky and the yellow the blue denotes the sky in Ukraine and the yellow denotes the cornfields or the wheat fields. That's where the flag comes from. So that'll be going on the boat this, this week or tomorrow when we go back to her. This is the um, gimbal for the jet boil. And actually, we just got to switch these ones. That was the original design. There you go. So there's the inner gimbal. And then somewhere along here. Oh, there's the inner gimbal. And there's the outer piece. So it swings here like that. And then this is a little block that attaches to the mast. Well, originally, um, I was just a bit of a mess. It had a GoPro connector on it. And it just snapped. It couldn't quite cope with the pressure. So I've just tidied that up. I've made the three screws all recessed, so it's double-sided. So then when we print this, in fact, let me show you. Let's get that printed. Um, and while that's just loading up Cura, I'll show you. Um, so there it is in Cura. And then what I do is in Cura, I'll put lay that down and print it that way. And that means this 
piece that's on the glass will be nice and shiny. So really good for adhering a little, you know, 3M VHB pad to, which will be good. Yeah, so then we'll be able to connect that to the mass using one of my little uh, brackets, which hopefully will be will work quite well. So I kind of just extended this bit and strengthened it. Now, it might be that this is a bit long now and it might put too much force on here, um, especially when the gimbal is full, when the jet boil is full, sorry, of stuff, you know, beans or something. Um, so what I thought, you know, I might do instead of VHB this to the mast, we may have to screw it in as originally planned. So this would screw into the mast here and here. And then there'll be a, before we do that, there will be a screw placed through this way. And then that would be where the gimbal is attached. Um, and we'd have to maybe have a little butterfly screw for that as well. So yeah, look, it's Mark II. It's um, all experimental, this. Um, we'll see if this one works. I'm not afraid of putting a few screws in my mask now. You know, it's uh, those days are kind of over. The other area, the other place we could put this is on the thwart. So that was a thought. We could make a block that screwed into the thwart and this would hang under the thwart. But I, I don't really know whether it fits or whether that's a good spot yet. But I did wonder whether that would be a good spot. So let's take this to the boat. Uh, let's um, print it out, take it to the boat and see where this one takes us.